my last video began with so many wonderful comments. And then, and then, watch what happened. The comments began to go an entirely different direction. Liz, you know I love you, but Liz, I usually love what you do and I hate to critique this, but Liz, I have to tell you, you can't have two wreaths in such close proximity to one another. It doesn't work. It's, it's, it's cluttered. It doesn't look right. So I thought, I can take some critiquing. So I, I got up and I stood there and I was like, okay, how can I change this? Okay, now this is a challenge. And then let's get into the video. You'll find out what happened. By the way, guys, I love you guys. So don't think I'm being a poor sport. I have thick skin. And um, as long as people are nice in their, in the way they say they dislike something or they would change something. I'm totally cool with that. It's when people get really nasty that I just like, I'm like, block, buy, delete, be re reborn, amen. So, and all of you were, all of you were totally fine. This is all in good fun. Today, it is take two, trying to figure out how to decorate this wall art and console cabinet. Let's do this. Let's try to scale it back. Let's see what I do. I don't know that I'll be able to scale it back. I truly don't because when I was playing this morning, I asked my husband, he's like, nope, too much, too much. And I'm like, really, really? And he's like, yeah, and I'm like, darn. So then I'd run out to the garage and I'd bring more stuff in and I would try it and I'd say, well, what do you think now? Too much. Really? Is what I said, politely. And then I ran back out to the garage with a handful of more stuff, did it again. I said, what do you think? He's like, you're, you're getting better, but take it down a notch. And I said, you are starting to get on my last nerve. So, so with that said, I don't hold out much hope, but we'll give it a shot. Normally he doesn't comment, but I did ask his opinion. And I shared with him a lot of your comments. And so I said, keep that, keep their comments in mind when I show you how I'm trying to scale it back. And yeah, he was on board with you guys. Let me tell you, he was like, yeah, no, take it down a notch. And then another notch, and I went. See the lantern? Exhibit A. That is going to house my lamp. Exhibit B, a cylinder lamp from Ross from years ago. We're gonna put it in the lantern because that's sort of my signature piece for adding ambiance throughout the house, whether it be on a floor, on a table, wherever. I like to use lamps inside my lanterns instead of candles because then I don't have to constantly be replenishing the batteries. I just plug it in and boom, ambiance. We're gonna shine this baby up with my favorite glass cleaner, Sprayway. how dirty things come from the stores. So it's always good to clean it inside and out. Now that we have the lantern clean, lamp is turned on. I put a big Edison bulb on the inside. Love Edison bulbs. 
uh, it gives it, it gives the room and the space just a very warm, pretty glow. I'm thinking of throwing in a pop of color, kind of just wrapping this on the bottom and then setting the light on top. Make sense? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to drop this down and I'm gonna pull the cord up, you'll see. Y'all, sorry for the noise, construction again. Beep, 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 it's gonna go all morning. I think this is a much better alternative to LED flameless flickering candles. As much as I love those, I literally go through batteries, you know, quite frequently if I run them all the time. So this is really nice to, to have. Like I said, you just pull the cord up to the corner there and you can shut it. Okay, so that's how this looks. That's how it's gonna stay. That will act as my lamp, my ambiance. I would like to tackle right there. Now, I could leave it alone, I could, I could, but I can't, I just can't. My eyes need more. I have this galvanized steel bucket. I love the detail up top, and when you flip it around, it's got the flat back, so you can hang it on the wall. You can also put this like on a table, you don't have to put it on the wall. I thought, let's hang it on this. Why not? Okay, now let's address this. Um, I, I'm sorry, I have to have a wreath on my front door. To me, it is a welcoming element when you come to the front door. And then I like to have potted plants out there. So that it has to stay. But to combat having something here so close next to something there, I pull the shade down halfway. Boom. I mean, yeah, you can kind of see the shadow through the, the shade, but it doesn't bother me. It just doesn't. Right here, I have two places to hang it. I am a huge fan of using tacks. So you can see I've already put one right here. These, these go into the wood beautifully. And honestly, if you ever take these out, you're not gonna notice any kind of hole. So I'm gonna do the other one and we're gonna get this hung. So I got it hung and now I'm just gonna arrange the flowers. All right, so let's see how it looks. Okay, so I went out to the garage and I found this cute galvanized steel uh, basket. And I thought what I would put in it is some greenery, a rabbit, a Ray Dunn, happy spring Easter egg, I may go a little overboard. Who are we kidding? I mean, I can't help it. I've got issues. Next, I've got my, one of my favorite Hobby Lobby greenery garlands, and I'm gonna kind of snug that in and pull it off to the side. Next, I have Mr. Bonnie. I found him on Amazon, I believe it was last year, and I just threw this little bow on him. Actually, no, I found him like two years ago on Amazon, but I think you can still purchase him. Um, I'll link him below if I find him. Next, I ran out to the garage and I found this wreath and it, it was round, okay? But I decided to go 
and kind of make it more of an oval wreath. And I really want to kind of tie in the green there with the green here. And this like seriously could take you through spring, Easter, summer, if I wanted to. And maybe I would just change out the bunny for some, a bird or something else. But um, I'm gonna kind of snug this behind him. Now I won this on a cute giveaway uh, from Decorating Fanatics channel. And all I did was uh, tie on a matching bow, just cause I like bows, you know? And I'm gonna kind of sit, sit this like right in here. So you can see it says, happy spring. I wish I had some cute white tulips or pale, pale yellow tulips, you know, Easter flowers, hydrangeas, I don't know. Something that I could kind of like snug in around the area. But, you know, I'm using what I have and this is all I brought from the log home. They're like little pieces I pulled off uh, a floral pick. So I might just kind of stick these in just to add yet more color. I really wish I had more of these. This is all I have, but I love these. Uh, this came on a floral pick and I literally just cut them off. And uh, so I might just stick these in strategically, but I like them cause they almost look, kind of have like a branchy, earthy, rustic e appearance. Going in with these. going to wrap up this section. I think I'm shutting it down and I'm happy with it. It's it's a little scaled back, a little for me, but uh, I think it's cute for spring. I love the burst of texture up there. I like uh, how the galvanized steel kind of has a sheen to it. And then as you work your way down, I love the lantern. Um, it kind of ties in the rustic lighter wood to that you know, cathedral window would look and feel. And then over here, the bucket, uh, the basket, kind of ties in with the galvanized steel up there. And, uh, you know, the greenery and the florals add texture and pops the color. And Mr. Bunny kind of ties in with the galvanized steel and the color of the wood uh, as well. So, and this is kind of just like a, a boom, happy spring. Next, I want to show you something, uh, two things that came from Amazon. I haven't even opened the other one yet, but I am super excited to see if it came in one piece because I ordered one last week and uh, it came in pieces. And I was so upset about it because I love this wall piece. But anyway, see that pedestal right there? I got one in white. And so this is how it came. Okay, so it comes with a rustic board. Now, if you don't like rustic, you won't like this, but if you like rustic and farmhouse, you may love it. And then on the other side, it has holes. And now in this bag, it has all the little feet. So you just open the bag and see how the feet are kind of distressed or you could tell like they put like some stain or something on it, I don't know. It, it's made to look old. And then you just take this and screw them on. 
See, so isn't this cute for a kitchen? It, Like I said, it looks just like the black one, but this is the white. And I just wanted you guys to see it um, in case you like a lighter palette. Here's the black and here's the white. And let's see if this would look good on it. You know, just, just to kind of give you a, a look at what the white one looks like. Let's hope this isn't broken like the last one because I was so upset and I ordered a new one. I'm like, I have to have it. This one is perfectly intact. I will say it is fragile. So if you buy one of these, you wanna be careful with it. It is a little shelf. It's a thin profile shelf. But you guys, look at the decorative detail work on it. It's so unique. I'm gonna be placing this above my TV and I cannot wait. And then, for the seasons, I'm gonna be placing greenery up here. I'm just imagining fall with this, with um, like the mustards, the beige, the the uh, just all the fall pops of color. It's gonna be so pretty. For whatever reason, the first one I got was not packaged well, and I literally tried to glue it back together because I did not want to send it back. I love it that much. Um, but when it came, it was broke, like little pieces were broken, but they did a really good job of um, packaging this one well. So, but if you get this, like I said, when you take it out, take it out gently. I was just looking at uh, my cutting boards and I thought if, I, if you had a place in your kitchen to display this, um, this cutting board would be cute. They go really well together. And you could, you could tie a cute bow around it, add some greenery. I don't know, just, just a thought. Okay, next, now we're in the hallway and I wanna jazz up this little wall right here. I'm keeping everything else plain, plain Jane. But here, uh, I'd like to add, you know, I have some good wall space there and I'm not gonna just leave it like that, boring. So I decided to bring, I brought, I brought this from the log home. It's galvanized steel and I love it. And I'm gonna hang it right up there. See, that's how it looks, but I wanna jazz it up. Some more. Remember I hauled this cute daisy wreath last week and I just love it. it. I love the colors, I love the green. That's like, that's like one of my favorite colors and it's just so cheery. And I thought, hey, that would look really cute hanging on that galvanized steel wall art piece. So what I'm gonna do is for those, for those of you who may be new to my channel, this is like one of my all time favorite hacks. You can purchase curtain clips, and I'm gonna link them below in case you guys wanna do the same thing. This makes hanging wreaths so easy. So you just clip it on to your wreath, you can see like that, and you just hang it, especially for these kinds of pieces, because you can just loop it right onto the, um, the metal. So let's hang it. I was just thinking this piece I just showed you, it would look so cute under here. Just look. I 
wouldn't do it here because of the light switch placement. Now, if I didn't have the light switch there, I would totally put it here because it looks so stinking cute. Imagine this gone. Look how cute that is. I love it. And now I'm in the master bedroom and oh my goodness, would that not look cute over the bed? Now try to visualize this above the bed. Wouldn't that be cute? I could, you could put a cute little sign above it. I could even hang that. Uh, maybe two small profile um, taper candle holders on either side of that with a wreath in the center. Oh my goodness, the wheels are turning. Okay, friends, that's gonna wrap up my Friday video, short and sweet. And next week, I will be coming to you from Virginia. We will be back at the log home for spring break. I can't wait. We're gonna be doing some fishing. We'll be out on the lake. We'll be doing a little BBQ. Uh, and we'll be doing spring decorating for sure. I, I moved the furniture around uh, when I was there last, so I can't wait to show you what I've done. So I will see you at the log home next Wednesday. Have a great weekend, everyone. I love you all so much, and I thank you for your wonderful comments. You guys are the best. I'll see you Wednesday. Bye, guys. Bye.